Lindsay, and I'm going to be giving a non-diet related example on the diffusion of innovation behavior change theory. Um, at this point, we've already heard from Lizzie on the background and where it came from, Jackie on a general explanation of the theory, I'll be sharing a non-diet related example, and Caroline will be sharing a diet example. So just to recap, uh, this theory is the idea of how a product gains momentum or diffuses through a specific population or social system. So I'll be explaining it using um, America and our uptake of the COVID-19 vaccination. So the first group are the innovators. These people um, want to be the first to try a new intervention. They are very venturesome and interested in new ideas. These people are very willing to take risks and are often the first to develop new ideas. Very little, if anything, needs to be done to appeal to this population. So for this one, I included public health officials, drug companies, participants in clinical trials. Um, and then for the relative advantage on this, it is the degree to which an innovation is seen as better than the idea, program, or product it replaces. So in that case, like in this case, it would be how much better the vaccine is than getting COVID. The early adopters, these are the people who represent opinion leaders. They enjoy leadership roles and embrace change opportunities. They are already aware of the need to change and are very comfortable adopting new ideas. Strategies to appeal to this population include how-to manuals and information sheets on implementation. They do not need much information to convince them to change. So for this group, I included doctors and other healthcare providers. Um, and then compatibility for this would be how consistent the innovation is with the values, experiences, and needs of potential adopters. So these healthcare professionals and doctors are the ones who know the negative side effects of not getting this vaccine. Um, the early majority, these people are rarely leaders, but they do adopt new ideas before the average person. That said, they typically need to see evidence that the innovation works before they are willing to adopt it. Strategies to appeal to this population include success stories and evidence of the innovation's effectiveness. So for this one, I included the people who asked, like, how clinical trials were able to finish so quickly um, and just showed a little bit of hesitancy, but they once they saw other people getting it, they jumped in line. Um, and for this one, the complexity of it would be how difficult the innovation is to understand or use. So the average person just doesn't understand the way drug trials work and if this vaccine would be dangerous or not. The late majority... These are the people very skeptical of change and will only adopt an innovation after it has been tried by the majority. Strategies to appeal to this population include information on how many other people have tried the innovation and have adopted it successfully. These people waited until most of their friends and family had already gotten the shot. They are skeptical but eventually were pushed to get the shot after people and media saturation eventually convinced them. And then for this one, the triability would be the extent to which the innovation can be tested or experimented with before a commitment to adopt is made. The last group in this theory are the laggards. These people are bound by tradition and very conservative. They are very skeptical of change and are the hardest group to bring on board. Strategies to appeal to this population include statistics, fear appeals, and pressure from people in other adopter groups. So for the most part, these are the pe people who waited for the mandates. Um, and in a sense, like a little bit, it's also the people who like still refuse to get it. Um, yeah, some people like claim other beliefs as more important and just refuse to get this vaccine. And then for this one, the observation is the extent to which the innovation provides tangible results. So an argument could be like, they just don't see tangible results or they don't see why they need to get it. So this is how the COVID-19 vaccine um, can be described using the diffusion of innovation behavior change theory.